Do you think that your vehicles at this point can predict something or are, can detect something that is beyond anybody's control? Mm. Without getting into details, you know, somebody who is like, for instance, hit by a car and lands in front of your vehicles. I mean, could, yeah. a, could a human have done it differently? Yeah. Um, or do you think you're better at, it, at that? Uh, we were very confident in our safety record so far. And every one of those incidents we simulated, we simulate even like what the, the other human drivers that may have caused this incident, if our AV was in that situation, what would be the outcome? And in all cases we've simulated so far, our outcome by far was better. Right? Mm -hmm. We would have detected that human. We would have stopped in the first place. Even though we've detected a, a person, uh, or, or like again, hypothetically, without getting into any incidents, our EVs would detect the person, would, would, would heartbreak, but you can't defy the laws of physics. At the end of the day, there's inertia, there's gonna be like some collisions, and it's very important to look relative, in relative terms, right? It's like, mm -hmm. if you think of all the accidents that happen right now, which is, it's, it's a very tragic situation, we try to like kind of zone out of, the, the status quo is, uh, it's really unacceptable when you think about like 40,000 plus Americans mm -hmm. die every year. Millions of others get injury, life-changing injuries, right? Now think of all these accidents and think of the scary ones, the ones that can cause an injury, mm -hmm. that someone would be seriously hurt. And imagine eliminating three quarters of those. Mm -hmm. That's our record today. And we know it's gonna get better every year, every month, every two weeks it's gonna get better. Yeah. But today, like the data we share is we're better in collisions that may cause injury, right? Like we, we'll eliminate three quarters of those almost, right, right? Three quarters because the other quarter is human. <laughs> Still, I mean. 90 plus percent of all the incidents we've been in, which I'm sure like they're you know, all over the news, 90 plus percent of those are caused by another mm -hmm. person. How do you deal with the unknown, with the unseen, which mm. with something that has never, um, been yeah. experienced before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a great How do you question. get ahead of it? That, that's a great question, right? So the, uh, I think that's a common misconception. It's like we have to see everything. We've seen a lot, first of all, five million driverless miles and millions of other supervisors and so on. So we've seen a lot. And then we've augmented and generated a lot using Gen AI and, 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 and more. Gen but doesn't mean that if we see, let's say spaceships drops in front of the car, it yeah. doesn't mean that the car is not going to recognize that. It's going to recognize an object. It doesn't matter if it's seen that object before or not. It's going to recognize that it can't proceed in this case. Even if you haven't seen it, the car is smart enough to know if I'm certain about how to navigate out of this situation safely, which is the core of everything we do, then it's going to proceed. If it's not mm -hmm. certain about it, it's going to stop, put the hazards light on, and request assistance remotely. But let me ask you then this. Mm -hmm. Your vehicles can perceive something that is directly in front of them.